This morning, I walk into the bathroom, and Jess was showering. Ooh. And I don't know why. About, like, <laughs> well, no, no, it was just. I walk into the bathroom singing. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm Did like, you just get embarrassed, right? I, now? I'm like, I'm like, I don't know why I mentioned that fact, but I'm just setting the scene. There's nothing Jess could do about it, is the point that I was trying to make. It's like she's behind the glass and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. I'm going, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. And I'm like, I'm like going through the bathroom. Yeah. Think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can fly. And Jess was like, don't get that song stuck in my head from behind the glass. All right. That is awesome. Dude, It's you need to do the halftime show. Super Bowl, Gabriel Conti halftime show. Don't put that in the podcast. Everyone's going to be like, you release music. Dude, is it Creed, the band that's like, with arms wide open? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a growl. Oh my gosh. Dude, when the red light comes on, I know, I know, I gotta put my game show face time, on. baby. I know it's freaking show time. Lights, camera, action. Right. Speaking of sometimes, show times, you just have to lick the stamp and send it. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, Dude, Daniel Ricardo. I love that. That was the best, Daniel Ricardo. How good was that story? I know. Did you see that? He's so like on good. the podium. Yeah, he's like on the podium. He's like, sometimes you just gotta lick the stamp and send it. <laughs> dude, he he is an oh all around vibe. Oh, dude. He's just a legend. <laughs> anyway, what are we? What are we? Oh what's the prompt? I forgot <laughs> it. Doing right. an intro, oh, my God. You're doing an intro. Oh, I have to intro. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> what the flip, dude? <laughs> what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Promptus Podcast. I'm Gabriel Conti, one of your hosts, joined with my other two hosts, Zach and Chad. Hello. What's up, everyone? How are we doing? Hey. <laughs> Boys, hey, let me hear you with a prompt. Oh, actually, first off, how are we all doing? I think that, how, is everyone doing good? Everyone's doing good? Yep. Doing good. I, I think we're doing good. To be honest, I'm flipping tired. <clears throat> Past two days. You cooked? Yeah, man. Past two days of work, I've been like, just, I've been like in work hours, but I've been switched on. It's like a lot of work. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I'm. I'm running on fumes, but I'm good. That's probably why I'm delusional right now. Because I'm just like, well, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of delusional Gabe. I don't know about you, Zach. But, but this the, is- thing, the thing is, is like the one that we oh. picked, I feel like you guys were like, oh, you have a lot to say about this. And yes. now it's on me to like actually make some sense. To carry no, You said when the light turns red, it's showtime. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I got to live, yeah. live up to that. Here we go. Well, hey, let me hit you with the prompt then, bro. All right. <laughs> what the heck was that? This is, this is gonna need editing, bro. Frick. Okay, oh. let's, let's get let's get it. Let's get it. No, hold on. I lost the prompt. Give me one second. What <laughs> what morning morning routine? How do I? Oh, here we are. All right. So, guys, I'm very excited because I feel like this is gonna be a real practical podcast today. Uh, the prompt is from Allison in Ontario, Canada. I know who that is. A- Let's go. I, we've like answered plenty of her prompts. <laughs> is is it asked. is it Allison? Her last name starts with an L. Can you see that? What the heck, Allison? How do you keep getting in our podcast? <laughs> you just keep crushing us with great Bro, prompts. The master spam just just comes strong, baby. So Tori and I do this thing on our YouTube channel plug, where we do a subscriber of the week. And every week we choose someone who we just noticed their name or whatever, and we want to just shout them down and give them some praise. And, and every week it's Allison. And every week it's Allison. <laughs> no. So so I thought that Allison was engaged, but she's in a long distance relationship that's very, hopefully close to getting engaged. Gotcha. So on the YouTube video, I'm just like, congratulations on your engagement, all this no. stuff. And I, no. no. I felt no. like a oh my total gosh, idiot, bro. dude. I w- and they were all laughing no, about it in the that's Discord funny. chat. They were like laughing, but I was like pretty upset with myself. That's hilarious. So Allison, anyway, I'll publicly apologize pressure. to you. Dang. Anyway, congrats on the marriage. Zach, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was quick. So, <laughs> congrats on the marriage. <laughs> that was quick, man. My word. All right. Sure. Anyway, so Allison, uh, Allison hit us with a good one this morning. How do I create a solid morning routine? Starting with a good bedtime routine, question mark. Waking up early when it's dark out, question mark. Not being on my phone. Well, Allison, you pretty much just answered your question. So the next prompt is, how do you... <laughs> so that's good. No, but I think this is so good because I'm currently trying to get up at 5.30. That's my current goal. So I'm keen to talk about it, boys. I'm keen to flip and dive in and hear what you've been doing for your routines. 
Because I know Gabe's real structured and Chad's all over the shop at the moment. So like, it'll be good. Bro, I'm all over. <laughs> I, That's hilarious. I feel like my work hours right now are wake up, work, until you go to sleep. Yeah, I... That I am an Gary adamant. V. Well, actually, today, today, that is because we're podcasting. Yeah. And podcasting starts at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. us over here. That's our... That's my day to day. But um, yeah, my normal days, I'm like adamant about ending around like s- 536. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it like pushes to seven. That's probably like one day a week. Do you struggle with it going longer because you do so much business on the West Coast? Um, weird flex. <laughs> like, that is a weird flex. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> not really. I read the book. We talked about it a bunch, which is funny that it just mm-hmm. come full circle. Um, but uh, at your best, Kerry mm-hmm. Newhoff, I kind of have structured my week in a way. And it was what I said in one of the last podcasts. I forgot just which one it was. It was like maybe one or two ago. Um, but it was the planning your week mm-hmm. and putting things into your calendar so no one else takes up that time for you. Yeah. Because if you don't take up your time with something or block out your time for something, someone else is going to take it up with something. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the most profound things I'd heard in a while where I've been like, I've been telling, I hate that it sounds like one giant plug, but I just, I'm being honest. I've been telling our podcast listeners nonstop. Like if you don't plan your time, someone else will plan it for you. And do you, Uh, do you want the world planning your time? bro. I mean, serious. (laughs) It's like, well, if you just look at the world and you look at the way things are going, do you want the world planning your life out? And if you don't take control of it, the world will. And then it's like, do you just want to react to all the stuff going on? Or do you want to proactively act and bring, you know, heaven Ooh. to earth? Yeah, that's exactly where I'm like, my mindset is on things is I want to be in an active offensive position every single day. Ooh, that sounds good. You know, I want to be mm. on the move offensively moving forward rather than trying to move forward not seeing where I'm going because I have a shield up trying to deal with everything that's coming yeah. at me. You, you also know? say forward yes. really interestingly. Forward. 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 Gonna go forward. Forward. Um, so anyway, I basically forward. have f- forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. On my schedule, I have like sections of time booked out for things and I make sure they get done. And I've gotten to a point where I'm, I check my email and text once a day. Wow. At 3.30. How did you pick that time? It used to be in the morning, but what Mm -hmm. I realized is as soon as I start texting, one, I'm using the best hours of my day for something that's not. Can you um, give an example? um, Best hours of my day being when I'm the most refreshed right at the beginning of the day. If you read the book, it's called Your Green Zone. Um, So I'm using my green zone. I figured out that it's probably between, it starts like roughly around like 8 nine o'clock and it goes to probably like 12. Yeah. And that range is like a three to five hour window of like your best hours. Yeah. And if I start sent replying to texts and emails at, at the beginning of my green zone to like get stuff out of the way, that is what I spend my entire green zone doing. Yeah. And then I end my green zone and my most productive hours doing something that is not worthy of my best hours. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Where what is worthy of my best hours is like all basically most of the things that I need to spend creatively, that I need to work on creatively yeah. and use my most creative as. A, okay, are we gonna rewind here a little bit? <clears throat> we live in a manager's world. Yeah. So if you are creative and you do something like relatively decent creatively, now you have something creative, some career, whatever to manage. And now you're you're we live in a manager's world, so you're going to be automatically strung into this constant cycle of the emails and texts and phone calls and meetings and administrative stuff. Yeah. And as a creative, I realized those things seem like they're the most urgent and important Mm -hmm. because other people are pinging you for those things. So true. But they, in your, and this, this took me, I'm not saying this because like I know everything. This literally took me five years to realize of me being like, why can't I get Mm -hmm. done the things that I want to get done? I'm like, text and emails can wait. What can't wait, what like actually can't wait and me moving the ball forward is me filming. 
me brainstorming. Dude, yeah. the time the time that I spend thinking and developing stuff now, just like sitting down and thinking of and, and basically like planning. Like what am I going to do? What is this video going to be about? Yeah. What just like that time is so valuable and I haven't I literally have not done that for years. Yeah. And just like really but yeah. it's not I don't approach it with this with the mindset of like, okay, now I need to do this. I have some spare time. It's blocked in every day for every week mm. for the rest of the year. Yeah. The first I thought anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, it's already there. It's on I know it's Friday we're recording this. I know on Monday when I wake up, it's a Monday. So we're gonna have our Monday meeting with our assistant first thing. Just plan the week, mm -hmm. which is another like planning thing, I guess you could say. But then right after that, I'm going straight into I might be filming a YouTube video or I might be like prepping and planning and researching so, for so YouTube videos. Hold on, I, I, have a, I, have, I have a quick question for yeah. you. If someone isn't like just like a creative by trade, what would be some other examples of like a green zone for someone else? You know what I mean? It's the area to do. It's find your most productive time. It's usually the morning for people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you're like a night owl, that probably might like shift to being you know, more afternoon or something like that. Um, but it's usually the morning hours for people. Some people, if it's like really early, like Zach, you're saying you're trying to wake up at 5.30, his green zone could start at 6 a.m. Yeah. You wow. know, and it could oh. be 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 10 does. to ten a.m. Yeah, so like using your green zone for the things that are the most important, especially in, its, for like in Zach's position, it's really good. Because no one's going to bug him at 6 a.m. Yeah. He can start working on something. Like, say he, he's trying to write a book. And most of the things that I think of are creative because that's just, like, what I th think about when I'm approaching mm -hmm. my tasks is, like, what are the creative things? I'm going to do those. Yeah. But, um, yeah, if he's trying to write a book, his most productive hours are probably going to be wake up, have a coffee, whatever, even if he, you know, does a little workout to get his brain yeah. up and moving you know, reads the word and an hour later, hour and a half later. So he gets into working, say it's like 7 a.m. He starts and he's, he has two uninterrupted hours before 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. where his phone's not going to start buzzing. Emails aren't coming through or anything. And he can just, in what I've realized is like just blocking an hour, that small period of time when you think of like the bigger picture of like, Let's say it's some sort of big project and you need to get some sort of whatever this big thing done that seems daunting. But don't underestimate the single 30 minutes or the single hour of hyper-focused time. Just focus on that yes. one single task. Yeah. Like you can get so much done. Mm -hmm. But if you have your phone next to you, notifications on, mm -hmm. full volume, bells ringing, like... I feel you're, you you're because, kneecapping yeah. your your progress and like when when I focus on certain things like when I film a YouTube video my phones are not in the room yeah. for me to check a notification my computer I turned off my texts on there I need to do that yeah fully you can't I can't text on my computer anymore because I completely kneecapped my yeah, my pro, my my yeah. progress and uh, efficiency on when when I work and stuff so I mean I feel my, you right now because my phone is somewhere over there sitting down and I could have it in my hand, mm -hmm. but I do feel so much more engaged. I feel so much more like in the conversation versus kind of like, you know, like 80% yeah. in and 20% my phone vibrates. I'm going to check that real quick. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And, but that's like across the board, yeah. like being engaged in stuff. It's if you're having dinner with your wife and you yeah. want to be engaged, like obviously don't have your phone there. And I'm such a, I'm like speaking to the choir cause I'm such a culprit of that all the time. Yeah. But, um, we haven't even talked about morning routines, though. I think we're talking. No, but I, I think it's good what you're saying because I guess is, as mm -hmm. someone crafts their morning routine, they need to understand, like, what's – what's because for me, I originally wanted to wake up and go work out, do my devotional, have a good breakfast. But, like, right when I wake up, I feel like a truck hit me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wake up <laughs> like, a, like a Sprite whatever. I don't know what the <laughs> phrase is, but you know what I mean? Well, what's that phrase? What? A I young Sprite. I don't know. I'm not sprightly in the morning, okay? How old are you? 31. <laughs> That's probably it. All I'm saying is, is that <laughs> you probably I had to, it, yeah. Yeah, probably had to be born before in the 90s to... I was born in 90. Dang it! <laughs> you freaking got 
hit in the throat with that karma right there. Oh my god! No, I mean for me, I know that I can't just wake up and go to the. I can't go to the gym in the morning, so that's like not like I guess a green zone for me. Well, it takes that, me like thirty minutes to like feel like a human being. That's the you know? thing too. I mean, even in the in the book, he was talking about like, oh, I don't need to spend a lot of my best hours necessarily, my most like high intensity, mm -hmm. most brain powered hours on exercising. So he switches exercising to the afternoon. For me, cool. I yeah. find I, I just find that I if I if I have it in the afternoon, I don't end up doing it. Mm. And it also <clears throat> exercising in the morning really helps me wake up. Sorry, yeah. I'm like no, we no, just you, ate it's totally cool because I guess like burping. I'm kind of like internally processing. In, in, in Zach, <laughs> it's such good. Like, oh. Can you imagine if I'm that guy that like throws up when other, you know, like. Oh, oh. my gosh. <clears throat> so oh, I would love to get Zach's take dumpy. on this, but I feel like I love Modern Family. By the way, I love, love, sure, love Modern so Family. Good. Tori and I are working back through it. We're in season nine. Oh really? Yeah, we love Modern Family, Ooh. and so um, I just feel like almost to if I break down what you're saying. To land on a good morning routine, you have to know what you want your whole day to look like. You know what I mean? Like it's like yes. if like for me, if I want to work out to, well, an, to an extent. Well, yeah, yeah. No, keep going. No, I was gonna yeah, say yeah. if I want to work out, okay. Well, it's cool to know that that's not a green zone thing for me, so I could do that later. Yes, yes, and, yes. And it's then understanding where you want to place things through your day. Yeah, yeah. and then but yeah. if I know that if I don't spend time with the Lord in the morning, I'm a walking basket case. So that, mm -hmm. that's like a, I don't want to say, I don't know if it's a green zone. I don't know what zone it is, but it's a priority. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. That's like a, and then, so it's almost like good to write down what it all is. You're going to be doing throughout the day mm -hmm. and then start kind of like Zach, I wish you could pull up your notion right now to show people how, if you pull you, Sorry, he has like the table thing view where if he pulls it from like green to yellow to red or red to yellow to yeah. green, and you can pull it and it'll change colors. And based oh, on where his task nice. is, it's really, it honestly, it's really sexy. That's I'm really cool. Oh, like it's systems, like your project, project management <laughs> system. Yeah, that's my that's my client management stuff. It's so satisfying to like drag it. Dude, that's it. so like, good. It's done. It is. <laughs> nice. It's super attractive. I think you funny. have a similar, because I have that with my YouTube videos. So I have a template built. Yes. And it makes the little I do, cards. I have one for YouTube as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So I have the same, where it goes to like, yeah. Just an idea, then it's ready to film with all the stuff filled out, so I know I can go. Is it color coded in. like that? It's not color coded. So his is color coded, and whenever oh, you don't have to right. change it, it's just you when you switch it over, coding. it turns that color. I didn't even know you could color code it. Yeah, that's so sick. I mean, it, it, we always go back to it, like what's the big picture, what's the why and stuff. But it's like, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. What do you What do you want your life to be? Mm -hmm. What do you want to learn? Where do you want to end up? Yeah. Just start working those little things in now and it's so for me i know that i'm like man i'm a flipping musician why don't i practice music every day why yeah. aren't i doing my vocal yeah. warm-ups <laughs> yeah. every day you know so now every morning every morning i'm doing that because it's just part of my it's part of my routine that i do and i'm playing guitar and piano mm -hmm. every single day and my do i'm singing every so day when doing do my do vocal warm-ups every day I mean, I could walk you through my whole thing, um, but I want to hear what Zach has to say first, and then we can maybe yeah. go through each other's like yeah. morning routines and compare and see, and just you know, kind of kind of work yeah. through it together. Well, what if I, dude? So yeah, I mean, I love hearing you guys talk about setting up for the whole day because it fully changes when you get married and you now have somebody else's green zones and somebody else's yeah, like for sure morning routine to balance within yours. And for a long time, like with Chelsea. She's getting ready for work at nine o'clock. It's a very clear starting point for her day where like you guys were saying and you hit the nail on the head, Gabe, like I could get up at 5.30 and like crush out a bunch of work before 7.30 and feel like st I'm stoked. This is the best. That was my most productive time. But that means that I miss out on time with Chelsea. So I'm like sacrificing really important relational time because I'm like can grind that time. Yeah, that well, makes sense? He, so he even says that in the... Oh, dude, the freaking delay. Terry Newhoff says that in the book as well. Like, it's not just for being productive, but it's doing the things that are important to you. And spending time yes. with your wife is going to be a lot more productive and a, a lot more beneficial if you're doing it in yes. both of your green zone time than if it's like an yep. end of the day. Yeah. 
not after thought necessarily, but you're both exhausted and tired. That conversation is not going to be nearly. you're only giving each other a little nearly, piece of each other. Yeah, the conversation is not going to be nearly as fruitful yeah. as it would be as if you did it when you're both fully. fresh and fully mentally there and attentive. Yeah. And if you're stressed out and frustrated, 100%. you know, you're going to bring from the day, you're going to mm-hmm. bring all that to that conversation and yeah. then it could, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yes, dude. hundred percent. And I'm finding that by spending time with Chelsea and actually putting that into my morning routine properly, even if it's 15 minutes and like Chelsea makes coffee blessed. So like <laughs> when she's making coffee, Shut I'm up. just hanging with her. I'm not on my phone. Shut up. Uh, for them blessed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's, that's actually made a difference for the afternoons because, oh, Chad, you say this all the time about, um, setting the temperature of the household mm-hmm. and like you've been talking about that a lot over the last month and my mate al you got an integrated about once. that in regards <laughs> to serving at church which is a whole nother podcast dude freaking chad man um but that i was like dang like one of us we're both gonna set the temperature of the house but i can at least at the very least be positive and set a positive temperature in the house and when i'm not doing that i see the whole week kind of crumble away a little yeah. bit you know and it's mm-hmm. not not super dramatic and it's not like that was the worst week of my life but life's hard so like to me morning routine is like all right life's hard so i might as well set up my day the way that i want to set it up and kind of take a bit of control back in i'm going to you know i'm going to read in the morning i'm going to try and run in the morning rather than at night like yeah that's kind of the way my routine at the moment is just like it's so weird do you guys ever do this thing where you wake up in the morning and you're like this was exactly how i woke up yesterday (laughs) yeah and the day before And the day before, and you start, but I used to think that was a bad thing. I used to be like, wow, life's crazy. It's just the same day every day, like Groundhog Day vibes. (laughs) But recently, because I've had more control over my morning routine, I've been like, I'm freaking jacked to get up today. Let's go. It is the same as yesterday. And yesterday was like, was dope. So I want to get up today in today's loop. You know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know. I just literally woke up this morning. I was like, this is what yesterday felt like. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, that. In reality, if you're if you're implementing things into your day, implementing habits into your day, and things that happen every day that are very enjoyable, you're going to have a very enjoyable day, a very enjoyable week, yeah. months, years, and a yeah. very enjoyable life. So, like, and it doesn't have to be crazy big things. It's like just those simple things, like having coffee with Chels, is an incredibly enjoyable part of my day, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So, in my notion, since I use it too, I have what I call my habit stack based off of atomic habits. And that's the, the, that's how I develop my morning routine is based off of my habits that happen every, and it's like to the micro thing that it's just habitual now. Mm-hmm. And I carry that over as much as possible when I'm traveling in a different location and it keeps me consistent. Cause a lot of times if you travel, especially if you need to work when you're traveling, you get thrown off. Mm-hmm. That's why I do all the YouTube video workouts now that are basic, mostly mostly body weight stuff because I can carry that wherever I go. I don't need the dumbbells or the squat rack or whatever. Like I can carry that wherever, wherever I go. And Justin, I do travel quite a bit, but anyway, I developed a habit stack and the the theory of the habit stack is basically, and I I've talked about it before on a podcast, but it's, it's implementing a habit that you want to make a new habit that you want to create on the back of a habit that you already have. So you Mm -hmm. say, you know, when I do this and the habit that you already have, I will do this. And it's the new habit that you want to implement. So my habit stack is I usually have my water bottle at my, on my nightstand, I wake up and mine. Another side note before I get into this whole thing is I'm, I wake up at 7am now. I used to, I used to just be doing 6am, but I found that like, just the way when Jess and I end the day and the amount of time we want to spend together in the evening and kind of how we wind down and stuff. If you're exhausted. Well, it was just, it was very, it kind of like naturally happened to like be this very specific amount of time where we were kind of like getting to bed right before, right around 10, maybe right after 10. And if I was waking up at six, I wasn't getting like a full eight hours of sleep. And it would take me a while to fall asleep. So sometimes it'd be like, I'd fall asleep by 11 and I would, wasn't getting, and I, I found that even if I woke up at six with one hour less of sleep, my days were less productive than yeah. if I got that extra hour of sleep. Isn't it funny how that works? It, it was so interesting. I noticed there was a week where I finished the week waking up at, at 6 a.m. every day. And I was like, I'm a zombie. Just from like this, losing that one extra hour of sleep, I was like, I, I'm like, not enjoying things in my day. I'm not getting through my days 
you know, not like efficiently, but it just what I felt just exhausted on yeah. everything to do. And then, and then if by Thursday, by Friday, I'd be waking up being like, Oh my gosh, I need to work today, you know, and just getting that extra hour waking up at 7am just really helped me to, to actually, I found myself being more productive. Like that following week I was getting more done every day by giving myself more time yeah. to sleep, which is nuts. Um, which there's a whole study done on that, which I think I've mentioned before of like the violin totally. players that like the, the ones that were the best violin players in this like study that was done. I, th I don't think you've mentioned this one. Have I, I not? Has he Zach? I don't remember this. It's, it's from atomic atomic habits. It would have been a long time ago. Yeah. It's from atomic habits. There's yeah. like a, a, this study of, of these certain, and I, I'm remember I'm remembering it like not to the full extent of all the details, but this, this certain study of like, these this group of violin players and the ones that were always performing at the very best the only the one mm. thing that they all had in common was that they all had like an average of eight and a half hours of sleep every night wow that was like the common yeah, thing well. that made them that made the greatest mm -hmm. violinist the great yeah. yeah is that they just weren't uh Exhausted. Yeah, I think that's I, I, I don't want people to sleep on that. I mean actually I do want you to sleep on that. Either way, I, I want, want you to <laughs> sleep on that. Yeah. <laughs> Where there are some things in life that can seem counterintuitive that actually are really helpful. Like yeah. I say this quote way too much, but I always say we shouldn't step over a dollar to grab a penny. And it's true, it's like Chick-fil-A taking off on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. One of the most profitable fast mm -hmm. food companies in the States. And for Aren't they the most profitable think, in the United States? Well they're I think there's two ahead. I think McDonald's and Starbucks are, oh. but they're just so much bigger. I mean, Chick Fil A's not even in every state. No, or, no, yeah, no. you know what I mean. Yeah, and, yeah. But the thing is, is like, like you oh, see, I just want Chick Fil A to be at the top. And and there's there's business articles that are coming out where, <laughs> like Forbes and Fortune 500, they're all saying like other fast food companies to take a note out of Chick Fil A's book, mm -hmm. where it's just like, wow, it's like there's something that happens by resting correctly that may makes you more productive mm -hmm. and i love the idea that some things can seem really counterintuitive but you're like oh no i actually am better this way if i get a full eight to eight eight and a half hours of sleep and I, i'm not so stressed throughout my day and i'm actually getting more done than if i if i woke up an hour earlier it's mm -hmm. kind of interesting how that works yeah yeah with that said i'm gonna finally go through my habit stack here i feel like i've been saying i'm gonna go through it for like 40 dude we go now zach and i minutes, zach and i are just trying to get that retention rate up bro listen let's go <laughs> okay with that said <laughs> you can listen to this ad before we uh do the habit stack okay. <laughs> so and i haven't updated this because there's certain things that i have kind of just taken out but i'll just go through and just say the things that i do basically i wake up drink a bunch of water out of my water bottle that's right there that's there's a lot of like scientific stuff to that of like how dehydrated your body gets at night and how much water you need to take in right in the morning to like hydrate your body and get your, you know, it just helps you wake up. Anyway, drink water, take my vitamins that are right there on my nightstand. Can you take yeah. vitamins on an empty stomach? You're not supposed to. I do it anyway. I struggle with it, bro. It makes really? me sick. That's so funny because yeah. the same thing happens to Jess and I'm just like, I don't care. I'm taking them. You're freaking steel trap. Dude, freaking man up. Bro, it's the freaking habit stack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just makes me a freaking man. <laughs> um, anyway. I'm freaking habit jacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just clicks Sorry, off bro. of the We're podcast. <laughs> like, okay, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I wake up, drink a bunch of water. Well, I shut off my alarm, drink a bunch of water, take my vitamins, replace those vitamins with oh, the vitamins for the next for that night and the next day. And that's another thing is like environment hacking. So I know I'm not going to forget to take my vitamins because they're right there on my nightstand as I go to sleep and when I wake up, which are the two times that I need to take my vitamins. And when I'm done with them, I, I replace them with the ones that I'm taking the next day. So do that. Get changed. Grab my workout clothes. Another environment hacking thing. Grab my workout clothes, my workout stuff. I don't necessarily want to sit on the couch and read in my workout clothes. So I grab them, bring them downstairs with Good. me, put them on the table. So they're there waiting for me, take the dog outside, bring them back in, make my coffee, sit down on the couch, read, pray, do my Devo, get up, put on my workout clothes in the living room, full send. <laughs> then 
<laughs> I go, <laughs> then I do, then I exercise. It's honestly, I don't even exercise for a long time, 15 to 20 minutes a day. Yeah. And it just allows me to be consistent. And I just, the videos are just like so efficient with how much you're getting done in such a short period of time. And I'm just maintaining like a really good routine there. So yeah. 15 to 20 minutes a day of exercise. So good. Come back in, grab my clothes that I was wearing at the start of the day, go up, shower. Usually Jess is up by that time and reading and, you know, doing what she's doing. Um, and, and that's kind of like the start. Whatever girls do. Yeah. And that's usually like the start of my, whatever the things that girls do. No one knows. <laughs> that's usually the start of my day. I have a I'll shower. Then I'll, that's when I do my music right after I shower. Then that goes into after my music, after I, you know, do my vocal warm ups, practice my instruments, that stuff goes into the creative tasks, green zone stuff. Mm -hmm. Like the start of my green zone is essentially like when I start practicing my music and stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah. So I like that. I need music. I need a music producer to remix everything Gabe just said. Wake up. Drink. Yeah. <laughs> Vitamins. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just <laughs> change clothes. Drink. <laughs> Wake up. Drink. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, <laughs> Replace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, I really, I really like that because I feel like you're also, were creating a bunch of little wins for you too. You know what I mean? I think we talked about yes, it on a podcast a long true. time ago where it's like when you check things off your to-do list, but you put, well, what was the thing you put on your to-do list that you like, you like, that was like an extra win? Was oh, it? Oh yeah. You just, when you start writing your to-do list, you just, the first thing is to write a to-do list. Yeah. So by the time you're done writing to the do list, you've already yeah. crossed off the first thing and you're on, you, you have a win for the day. Yeah. And I love yeah. that. I feel like a lot of yours are like these small little victories, almost like the make your bed mentality where, you know, mm -hmm. you start your day. Yeah. And yeah. I'm right now for Tori and I, it's been just, I don't know if I'm going to say this on the podcast, but balls to the wall, <laughs> bro, freaking balls to the walls, big boy. It's, <laughs> it's been a lot because, you know, and bro, you open the door. Is that you, bad? You said it. I know. We're going, we're full send. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, that full was a, PG 13, yeah. baby. Let's go. I'll do my best to keep this short and quick where like I do most things. <laughs> I was just going to say me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well. But, um, <laughs> right now we're just like, <clears throat> it's funny to hear you guys talk about how you've planned things, especially for like your different zones, because right. Like I, I love the idea of not giving certain things access to certain parts of my day, but just speaking candidly, we're just getting a lot of pushback on getting a loan for the house. And whenever they send me additional documents they need, I drop everything for it. I, I wish I could like say, no, email me at three. But right now we have to, like, I have to close. No, and that that's one thing in particular. Yeah. Like I went through that same thing where the period of like, trying to of close a big on life the house, change. a yeah. big life change. Mm -hmm. That is, yeah, see there's this. stuff that you can't necessarily plan for. Yeah. But the way I kind of plan for that is I don't overcommit my day. And, and we definitely had overcommitted. But yeah. It, I think what's been cool about listening to the thing I was saying is that like, we can see how much not having a consistent morning routine sucks. Mm. It absolutely sucks to mm. not have one because right now we're just like, well, because you, you, you wake up walking into chaos. Yeah, exactly. And you go to sleep like, Ooh. you know, Zach like that yeah, one. It, it's very true. Dude, write that down. That's a song. Oh, it's it's kind of like, put it on TikTok, <laughs> throw it on reels. Tori and I, um, we, we just did, uh, this whole devotional series on dealing with stress and finding peace and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And it was, it was really, really good, but it's funny how, when you start learning different, I guess, better ways to live your life, it exposes how poorly you're living. And, and that was oh, something yeah. that was really big for me is because like, so we do the word of the week, mm -hmm. right? I don't know if you do that in the, the family plan calendar and all that. But no, no. Yeah, so so Tori and I will do a word of the week, and it's not anything too intense, but it's just like, oh. You use the that family planning mm -hmm. calendar? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and it's it's not like anything aggressive, like, okay, my word of the week is, like, drank. And I mean, like, like, vitamins, drank. <laughs> my word of the week is balls to the walls, yeah. <laughs> no spaces. <laughs> you know, but like. One word. So, so my week, or so my word last week was just grateful, because mm. I was letting the 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 blessing of our home become a burden because how stressful it's been getting it ready and everything and i was like no wow. I, need, I need to 
be grateful for this stuff that Can I, I read you one more thing actually. No, absolutely not. This is remember when I was talking about the <laughs> affirmations that mm -hmm. last time yeah. and I like wrote one yes. thing down. Yeah. So I kind of finished them to an extent of like, I called them my rules for today. Yeah. And I basically Ooh. wrote down there's five personal ones and five like professional ones. Yeah. And every, I actually, I forgot to add this to my habit stack because the habit stack doesn't actually have, I haven't updated it. So it doesn't have the exact yeah. thing. So I was kind of like free balling there, but, um, <laughs> wait, wait, you were what? I was free balling with it, dude. Are these free baby. flowing, but you draw. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah dude. This is, this is a ballsy <laughs> episode. That's PG not the 13. only, that's not, that's not the only thing I'm free balling with. All right. You like ba basketball or <laughs> <He's> like what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't done laundry yet. Uh, so anyway, my personal ones. This was about to get really like good and serious. <laughs> Zach is like, shut up. Let's go. <laughs> um, so my rules for today, personal. Today, whatever I do is for the glory of God. Today, I will plan and work diligently to maintain romance with my wife. Ooh. Today, I will be generous. Mm. Today, I will act so I can be truthful about how I act. Mm. Today, I will compare myself to who I was yesterday, not to, not to who someone else is today. Wow. Then the professional ones are today. I will build for Jesus with Jesus with joy today. My work is a privilege, not a burden. Yes. So I will have fun mm -hmm. today. I will make small progress on the things that matter today. I will say mm. no to shiny things today. My failures will be my greatest opportunities to learn. So, that's what I oh, wish you would I have just, saved that for the end of the podcast. Bro, I know we're at the end, but basically the end of the podcast. I, I was like sharing a thought and that was like so strong. I just want to end it there almost, you know, like <laughs> share your thought, share your thought, bro. Well, no, that's, I, you can share what you're going to say about it. I was sharing that it was exposing how bad I am at certain things. Cause when I chose a word of the week or when I try a new self-discipline that first week, you're trying to implement it. You see how, how, how poorly you are at it, but also how much it negatively impacts your schedule. Mm -hmm. Because whenever I was trying mm. to be more positive on things, I realized how negative I was. Mm. And then I realized how that mm. negativity bled over into every area of my life, including my marriage. Mm -hmm. And so that first week or two of trying some, a new self-discipline is honestly really hard. It, yeah, it is hard, man. Like building a habit is way harder than breaking one. <laughs> And Freaking it is, dude. Yeah, dude. Gabe's on fire this episode, is he not? Freaking reel that baby. <laughs> I'll take it. Listen, all right. If you're giving compliments, out, <laughs> I I'll was, take it. I, if you're giving compliments, I'm taking them. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I mean, th my my like approach with these like rules that I essentially made for myself that I read every day were things that I knew they were just areas. Because like similarly you could have been like why don't you just say the 10 commandments or something like that i these were just areas that i needed to write something down in relatively my own words some of them are like quotes and stuff that i kind of like pulled and reworked or whatever but things that i'm not good at that i know i need to remind myself daily to work on mm -hmm. you know and kind of like a mindset thing like usually when i'm like i have a stacked schedule i get overwhelmed and i don't like what i'm doing but knowing like, you know, all this isn't that big of a deal. I'm just making some YouTube mm -hmm. videos and having fun because I'm doing what God made me to do. Put things know? in perspective. Yeah. And, and, you know, and there's, you know, all, all the other ones can be there or whatever for what they are. And like, once we have kids, there's probably going to be ones in there about like fatherhood and stuff like that. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just wanted to, with that, along with the habit stack, along with the daily stuff, it's knowing what my weaknesses are and who I want to become and what I want to get done with my life and just implementing that into your day to create something unique that can get you to where you want to be. Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching this episode of Prompt Us. Make sure to go to promptuspodcast.com to submit your own prompts and we will see you in the next one.